Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Card Minnows. If you're new here, my name's Leon and on this channel, we open and discuss collectibles. But today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna head into the Axie Infinity Arena and play a couple of games. For this video, I'm taking an all plant team with me into battle. I wanna give a shout out to one of our scholars or guppies at SFG, Mr. Meow, for this great idea. So before we head into battle, I want to go over my all plant team. Plants are mostly known as being the tank in Axie Infinity. They have high HP and cards, lots of shield and heal. And as we go over my team, you'll see I put in some other parts to balance out the team. So when we go into my team here, you'll see that I named this team Mean and Green because they're plants and they're all the green color. We'll start with the Axie in the front. So this Axie is one of the Axies I started out with. It has pretty typical plant cards. So he has Pumpkin, Sirius, Cactus, and Hatsune. This means that I have a lot of utility with him. He can steal energy with Sirius. He can deal damage with Cactus and put up a wall with Pumpkin and Hatsune. So these other two plants come from my latest round of breeding. In the top, we have a damage healer with some shield cards. So for damage, we have Hungry Bird and Beach. And for shield, we have Pumpkin and Hatsune. So this will be a good all around Axie that can block some damages and also dish it out as well. And on the bottom here, we have another damage healer that has a little bit of added utility. So he has Ranchu and Cactus for damage. He has Gouda for energy destroy and he also has Pumpkin for shield. So these three plants will make up my team. Hopefully I can get the damage in with Hungry Bird, Ranchu, Cactuses and Beach and block enough damage with the Hatsunes and pumpkins all around. So let's head into the arena and see how we can do with this mean and green team. Okay, so this is pretty good because we ran into a double aqua and our plants are supposed to be good against it. So let's see how we do. So he has an energy steal, cactus, pumpkin, carrot, pretty standard. For his two aquas, they're pretty standard as well. Start out with these two and then put in that as well. So I got to take two energy or destroy two energy, take one back. So we start with it should be at three and I'm at three. So I'm putting out all the damages here to hope we can kill him. So beach. Gouda and Ranchu and hopefully they'll take them down and then I can just focus on killing these Aquas. Wow, well, you got a crit on me. I don't think this will kill. But my main guy's down to 100 now. And I think that's enough to kill him. Don't I think he has two energy now because I took the one he got back. I don't think what two can kill me here. So I'll play it safe and do pumpkin and hot sauce. So I blocked both his damages with the pumpkin. I hit him back for 70 with the tail. I think he's gonna die anyway. I think we just try to put on the damage. So the beach and Hatsune 160 with the type advantage, maybe it'll kill. Oh, nice. He hits into the one that has a shield up. Oh, and I get a crit. So right now I'm just kind of choosing everything that does damage to him in the hope that my two plants will be able to wear him out. Oh, I think that, oh, that doesn't kill. So he's at 240, I think my top guy's gonna die. 
So I'll just let them die. Don't think you can kill me. Yeah, now with the and then I want to put as much damage out as I can. <laughs> so that's pretty. I mean, with the crit to win too. Got my first win off my first game. I would say that this is pretty good if you're playing against double Aqua, as plants are really good against Aqua. As long as you have some damage parts. So the beach and the cactuses were obviously the MVP cards and just throwing up the wall early for him to bash into really helped me seal the win. So we're heading into our second game. We run into a plant aqua beast with the aqua in the middle. So if that beast goes off, we could be in trouble. So he does have a rimp combo on this beast, but with a gouda and a tiny swing. The Aqua is a little different too. It has this third glance here to destroy cards, so not a full Aqua build. And his plant is a pretty standard plant. So I think we're trying to get damage in early. What does he do to us? Tries to... So we want to use all our cards because he has Sirius and Gouda so he can definitely take some energy away from us. I don't think this kills. Was the right play because he just waited and he loses an energy because of Gouda. So he's at 4. He might put out a big combo against us so... We can try to block it with these two and then if he doesn't do anything on his plant we have the 60 to to kill him oh he does though what does he do so he gets a little bit of damage in, but he draws a ton of cards I don't think he has anything left because he used so much damage cards. Oh, he went to last stand. That sucks. I wanted to get some damage into the Aqua. I think he's gonna go for big damage. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I can live that. Oh, barely? Barely. So he gets two energy from that. These definitely have at least four. I think we let him die and try to go hit him for some damage here. He discards a pumpkin, but we don't really need it. Then we can kill him the next round. That should be the double Hatsune should be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. Let's see if his beast kills my bottom one or not. Nope, goes for the top. So he's just gonna have a ton of energy. He gained two from that, so he will have. So let's see which one he kills, top or bottom. I think I'm dead. Yeah, so that beast really did wreck us, which makes sense. It's all the way in the back too, so it's shielded and we had to try to break through it. It did help that we did have 
Iranchu and the Hungry Birds. So we did have parts that were good against it, but we we're so low at that point, he was able to clean us up, especially with the extra energy from the Rimp combo. Oh, this might be good for us. So he has Standard Plant, like we all have seen with the Carrot, Sirius, Cactus, and Pumpkin. Pretty standard beast part with the Nemo and then he has a swoop so this doesn't really do anything for him that's kind of wasted card and I'm able to absorb most of his damage it looks like so I think we'll go prickly prickly Gouda and that'll get in a ton of damage against him and also burn out any energy if he doesn't use it. So the Gouda destroys the one from the Koi, um, but he gains another one from the Carrot. Oh wow, it took a lot of damage. So he got three energy. I think he can get through. Yeah, I'll have to use two. I do think I'm running out of steam though. I didn't have enough to burst through the, the plant. So I want Hatsune and Beach there to put on the plant damage as I'll need to take him down. He'll be at 3 energy next turn. He does kill my bottom plants now and he has my top guy. So I did one here, I don't think he'll shield. I don't know if he thinks I'm greedy enough. I've been using all my energy, so. So he has four at least. That would make me live, but is it enough to win that? That might be okay. No, I don't think it's enough. Oh. So we went one and two in arena with our triple plant team. We won our first game against the double aqua plant, but we lost our last two games i think overall it's not too bad i thought i wouldn't win any games with this so getting one is pretty sweet i would change this team a little bit i think they had too much pumpkins with three pumpkins so i wouldn't want pumpkin for the last two and maybe i'll switch it with like a dual blade or some other part that has more damage thanks for watching everyone if you want more axie infinity content check out this video on my top five axie tools